U.S. put a ban on the import of Russian oil, rising the already high prices at the pump. According to Gas Buddy, the average cost of gas in Seattle went up six cents overnight to four dollars and seventy-two cents, and it's only expected to keep climbing. Right now, Fox 13 News reporter Hannah Kim has reaction from people about how gas prices are impacting their everyday lives. Hannah. So hi guys. So I am in Kent right now, and on this side of the street over here, you see 453. And on the opposite side, you see 489 for regular gas. So you do see a price difference, but bottom line, high prices across the board. And if you are filling up with diesel, take a deep breath. The prices are outrageous. Focus on the screen and watch it climb. We started rolling our cameras at $86 for a guy in the middle of filling up his Ram pickup truck with diesel gas today in Kent. $57 is the most I have ever paid for gas, you guys. Then you have Tavares Spartan and his Camaro. I have a sweet new car. Thank you so much. Yeah, I was, I was happy to get it, but not so happy with the fuel right now. <laughs> Spartan snapping a picture of gas prices because the overnight spike is shocking to him. I hear a lot of people, especially at my job, we're saying that they're switching from their vehicles over to uh, to bikes now and stuff. From Spartan back to that Ram pickup, now approaching $97. That's a trip to Safeway. Roderick Venter says he was sharing a car with friends, but with gas prices so high, he is solely relying on the bus now. Handle the business I have in the South End, and then get home in the North End, it's two and a half hours on the bus. Sometimes it's taking him that long to get from Kent to Edmonds on the bus, but Roderick says it's that or not enough food for groceries. It sounds like to me that you're saying yeah. it's either gas or it's groceries. Yes, yeah, so that's your meat, cheese, bread, your milk, your butter, um, maybe some cookies to throw in it. That's $30 right there now. Roderick is budgeting everything and he is barely scraping by. It's like, I can't see my papa right now. Um, I can't, yeah, I can't, still can't go to the movies. I can't do things that make me feel, feel good or just, you know, feel like, Normalcy is on the way. He says inflation is taking a toll on his mental health. This is taking it a whole nother level. And speaking of another level, that Ram pickup truck topping off at $115. And that's not even a full tank of gas. So that driver of the Ram pickup telling me that $115 will last him for less than a week. So we are talking about spending more than $400 a month for gas for many people. In Kent, Hannah Kim, Fox 13 News.